Hello everyone, I'm Wendy Ross for the USTA and Harness Racing fans and we've made our way to Lexington, Kentucky for Red Mile action. It was a beautiful Saturday afternoon highlighted by three Grand Circuit events. We look to see Mick Wicken and Six Pack. Could they get back to their winning ways? And does the Burke Superstar War Wee Ubu keep her win streak alive? There's no better time to be a racing fan in the fall than right here in Lexington, Kentucky. Let's take a look at all the action. It was the seventh race, the Mr. Big Alaraj Farms Open the four Mick Wicked, the five to two morning line favorite. He goes off as the nine to five favorite. Let's see how he does. And Mick Wicked, the fresh right out to take his shot down at Gorsador Hanover. And Mick Wicked, Mick Wicked quickly pounces here. He takes over the lead. He's opened up three lengths on Gorsador Hanover. Endeavors out of the center. American history way out by the filibuster Hanover. But it's all Mick Wicked here. Mick Wicked sharp today. He's opening up with every stride. Mick Wicked won it easily in 147 and 2. But I, that's not the way I saw the race going at all. Such a tough old champion. Dealing with some feet issues over the last couple weeks coming into today. Watched him throughout the week. He's just so tough and, and overcame it today. Yeah, no doubt. And like I just said to them, I said, I'm, I'm no, I don't keep it a secret. I put pictures right on social media of this horse's foot and what he's dealing with. Most horses would be in the field for a long, long time with what he's dealing with. And he uh, he's just tough as nails. He throws it away and goes with it. And he's, he's just an awesome animal. <laughs> A wide open event heading into race eight, the Cantab Hall Alaraj Farms open trot six pack, looking to relive his Kentucky fraternity victory from last year. Two recalls going into the race caused a bit of a confusion. Let's take a look at the race. And they are off. Crystal Fashion left the uh, gate quickly, led the great out of early to his inside. Also, Eurobond on the move in that opening term, six pack. Looks pretty good as well. Did at the inside $50 bill. Part of the early skirmish as they move around that opening turn. Lindy the Great on top early, but it's Eurobond. We'll now move on up and take over control here for Andy Miller. Crystal Fashion away in third. Six pack fed at early, tucked fourth in front of $50 bill. Caught wide there in the sixth spot. That is mission accepted as they move past the opening quarter in 27 seconds. The veteran is to his inside seventh in front of his stable mate, LaGrange. Trolley and Pinkman, the two trailers. They trot up the uh, back stretch. Euro Bond on the uh, point here at 8 to 1. But Lindy the Great looking over that uh, leader from second, Crystal Fashion. Get to use at the inside third as six pack. Swings to the outside in fourth. He's on the attack now for Svonstead. $50 bill. We'll set it up second over. He's into a fifth past the veteran who's pinned in sixth. Mission accepted. It's been out the route, but he's up third over the flow now for a Jingra past LaGrange. They try to pass a half here in a quick 54 and 2 and six pack. Who's up on the outside to engage Eurobond as they trot down to the far turn and six pack has now taken over from Eurobond. Six pack is pouring it on right now. He's eight lengths clear. Lindy the Great uh, rallies up on the outside. Mission accepted into a third, but at mid stretch, it's still six pack. Last year's Kentucky Futurity Champion has returned the red play in fine order today. It's six pack here as they come down to the finish. Lindy the Great is second. Mission accepted third. Six pack down to the wire. 149 and two. Aki, back here last year, you took the Kentucky for charity. He seemed like he was was very good today. Yeah, he's back in uh, good shape again. Made the big move up the backside, cleared at the three-quarter pole. I think it was not, if you were going to win, by how many at that point? Yeah, I thought they were going to break the record today, but it was too slow the first half and first over, so, but I, I tried. I did. I didn't try. <laughs> Ninth race, the Glen Garnsey Memorial, led by heavy favorite and the Burke Superstar War Wee Ubute, looking to keep her win streak alive. And they are off. Tall drink out of her. Shoots out quickly, but Beauty on the Beach, Queen of the Prime. Both accelerate down at the inside. War Wee Ubute favorite. Floating away there for Jingra on that opening turn. Beauty on the Beach. Who's up and around Queen of the Prime. Got to get to the third spot with Tall Drink ahead of her. Treacherous rain still floating wide there. Where will you butte? Also uh, moving wide, so they have mixed up there around that opening turn. A zero tolerance is up on the outside early in the sixth. Silf out of her came out racing in a seventh. Carbon Capture is uh, next in front of Andy Hill at the uh, back of the uh, pack as they move up the uh, back stretch here at Stonebridge Soul. The opening quarter was 26 and 2. Treacherous rain. Fresh off her stakes went here last week. She is on the uh, point for Dexter Dunn. Beauty on the beach. Settles in for that pocket ride in second in front of Queen of the Pride, who is racing from the third. 
Tall Drink ahead of her is at the inside in fourth. Where we you butte the big favorite. She's underway to the outside. They're by the half here to quick 53 and two. So treacherous rain carving up a crisp pace here on the front. She's uh, got the lead on to the far turn. Beauty on the beach still tracking her every move at the inside. Second is War Will You Butte. Continues to inch it on the outside for Jingra. Zero tolerance tracking that cover up a second over on the outside. His queen of the prime. Continues to a save ground in fifth. They approach the top of the stretch. War We You Butte up and alongside Treacherous Rain. Beauty on the Beach hangs in. They're off three quarters in 121 and three. War We You Butte dials up the pressure now. And she's taken over from Treacherous Rain. Beauty on the Beach out of the center of the track in a third. Carbon Capture is up on the center of the track, but it's all War We You Butte here who has powered well clear. Queen of the Prime late pace of the inside four outside that Stonebridge Soul, but it's War We You Butte close to home. She's wrapped up. Where will you view wins again here in 148 and three? Yannick, it was just one year ago today where this filly was very impressive, took her lifetime best, but hey, she repeats it here today. It was absolutely vicious. You won the plugs in. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even have to ask her. You know, turning for home, I just uh, loosened the line a little bit and uh, took the lead, and it was just uh, coasting from there. She's, uh, she's really tough, no doubt about it. I think uh, now she's proving week in and week out, you know, uh, you know, she's a little bit more sh sharper than they are at, at the moment, anyway, and uh, I just hope she uh, stays like this. 